Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video about KL Marie, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. I just want us all to give us a pat on the back because despite KL Marie lying to us for almost a whole year, we still were able to all make it make sense as a community of day ones. And I just want to thank y'all for 120,000 subscribers. However, the purpose of this video is because all of KL Marie's lies have finally caught up to her, you guys. And I'm guessing she's just ready to surrender and throw in the flag after being exposed. In my last video, I was basically catching you guys up as well as bringing back old information just to make this new information make more sense. We also talked about different shade pages and all the information they were bringing out on KL Marie, exposing her even further. And I also read DMs that fans and supporters were sending to KL Marie, as well as screenshots of conversations that more than likely probably would have never made it to the internet if all of this situation hadn't blown up in KL Marie's face. There were some particular screenshots shots that are also included in my last video that were basically between a fan and KL Marie I also have them here for you right now so we can read them again despite that all of everything that KL Marie took her own self through you guys and all of the lies that she dished out to the internet just to cover up the fact that she had lost her child or miscarried did not exclude the fact that fans and supporters wanted her to apologize to me because I was mostly right and was the main one catching her in majority of her life a fan and supporter of KL Marie had contacted her in her DM and this is what was said. They started off the messages, Kaylin, are you okay with everything you're dealing with? She says, yes, I'll be okay. I just shouldn't have did it, but I'm over it. I want to move on. So they say, okay, I'm surprised you responded to me, a quote unquote fan. She says, I really didn't mean it that way. Folks take my words out of context. They said, okay, well, I'm glad you are okay, but I still respect you. And do you think you'll apologize to official since day one because she apologized to you, but she was really right the whole time. Kale Marie responds, I already did, but not for my official page. I don't care no more. Kale Marie continues, I already deactivated my fake accounts plus the fake texting app I use to play on people's phone. I may be weird, but I am seeking help. I will get it. Thanks for your concern. I am truly sorry. I won't be responding to any more. And you guys, to be honest, I don't even know if KL Marie was trolling or what, or if she just decided to go ahead and give me an apology while she was deactivating the fake page that she messaged me from because it actually took me a while to find the apology and even my T-Page assistants, Brie and Lachey had to help me hunt it down. The alleged fake page that KL Marie was using was called bullshit, period, all for it. And it's crazy because the page had previously hit me up before you guys and told me you have too much time on your hands to post about me daily you should come to my team to work for me since you know my life so well so my t-page assistant brie had responded back fake page question mark so they said itch stop posting seriously it's creepy weird and annoying you need a life and the whole time you guys i didn't even know this was k from behind her fake page once my t-page assistant brie had let me know what this page was talking about i had to come to the dms myself so i wrote the page back and i said this is day one speaking earlier you were talking to my assistant i already have a team on this side thank you for your offer though but whom are you referring to when you say post about me daily you need a life because if you were about that life you'd be contacting me from your real page itch period you're creepy weird and annoying why are you here so after that you guys this was the same account that i received the apology from so that let me know that the whole time i had been talking to ko marie and didn't even know it yesterday july 31st at 10 43 a.m ko marie has sent to my dm i apologize to you yes i was wrong for the whole situation i just wanted to end i lost my baby and i had to write to 
pretend with my brother's baby who I can't be around anymore. It's my wrongs. I take it. I just want to say, yes, I was in those group chats. Yes, I had several fake accounts, including this one. I will be deactivating it as well. I just know how dumb I look and I apologize to you day one. At this point, y'all, it was sent in from a fake page. I don't know if it's real. I really don't, but I am tired of the whole situation. We did what we do best and we made it make sense. She came out. She got exposed. It is over. I got my apology. We all good now. And I'll see y'all in the next video. So long, so long. Sleeping from sofa to sleeping from sofa to sleep. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches. Hit some brand new Gucci low. Some Gucci walking. I got tired of eating Big Mama's chicken. Now it's business when I walk.